so let's talk about this Andre Miller situation. You heard uh, Craig Sager report uh, late in the game that uh, he's still allowed to use the Nuggets facilities to work out and that kind of thing, but that he will not play anymore with Denver. And you heard Reggie Miller say teams are going to be lined up uh, to get the services of Andre Miller. What do you think about that whole situation? What do you think of Andre Miller's future in the league? Well, I think, it, I think Andre Miller has been a great gentleman and a very good player for a long time. But I think the way he handled this Brian Shaw thing was totally uh, inappropriate. You can't be yelling and screaming at your coach on the bench. Nobody can do that. I mean, nobody can do that. Uh, I think he can be a good backup for a playoff contender. Uh, I do. I, he's, he's a good player. I think he can help uh, a, a, a contender. He's not going to a young team. Uh, but if, he, if some contender would pick him up. But as far as his behavior, you can't yell at your coach and berate him during the game. And, and as a coach, sometimes you have to take a stand because after all that, for you to put him back in, now gives everyone else the right to, to, to go at the coach. So, you know, B. Shaw grew up playing with B. Shaw, nice guy. And, you know, uh, Andre was probably upset that his streak was broken, but I think he could have handled it a different way. Well, it's uncharacteristic. You know, we've never heard Andre Miller being a problem in any locker room. If, in, in, in all we've heard about him is a guy who opposite. shows up every night and plays yeah, all the time. Yeah. The opposite. So, you know, everyone's allowed, you know, uh, uh, an error. Uh, again, I agree with Chuck. He handled it wrong. He will get picked up by a, a good basketball team. You know, I, I've been in that situation before, you know, in the latter part of your career. And you, you get a DNP for the first time. And... It's, it's, it's humiliating, and, and it's kind of a, uh, a reality check that where you are in your career. Uh, but the one thing that I remember it with doing was making sure that I said it's, it's a coach's decision. I have nothing else I, to say about it. It's his decision, and I'm going to just stay here and work stay hard. Ready. And, and stay ready. And, 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 and all three of us have probably yelled at a coach before. I know I've yelled at a coach before, but you got to do that in the locker room. Mm -hmm. You can't sit on the end of the bench because to pick it back on some Shaq said, if he puts Andre Miller back in the game, other players says they, that's going to empower them. To, well, I'm going to get my time back if I, I blow up a coach. I might get more playing time because coach feel bad. So it, it put Brian in an awkward situation. But Andre Miller's a good kid. A, well, he's a man. He's 37 a, years old. Yeah, huh? he's, a, he's almost as old as me. <laughs> uh, but he, he can help. He can be a good backup on a contender.